they're representative of kind of an uh, abstract expressionist -y, but there's still there's still plenty of kind of representational you know imagery in here but there's three pieces that you sent me um that i'd like to look at into a little bit more deeply or uh or just to address this one i'm very familiar with because this one is up in our member show and if you out there in the internet have have seen our walkthrough of the member show this is a piece we spent a good amount of time looking at but now we have the artist here to actually reference and, uh, and give us a little bit more insight. And then this is the third one here, which I had never seen before, but I really am, I'm a huge fan of yellows and oranges and I, I just love this color. And, and your, your choice of contrasting colors, I think is also really amazing. So what can you tell me about these works? I see a lot of feminine figures in here. I mm -hmm. see a lot more liberal use of the paintbrush and um, a lot more aggressive, and intentional use of the negative space. Whereas if we can be reminded, some of your other pieces completely, I mean, this one, you, you let the shadows kind of create the action in the negative space in some of your other works. Whereas these are flat and on, are they on canvas? Remind me, are these on panels? They're on boards. Board, um, okay. Boards, panels. So, and the ne the negative space is just really, it becomes this, it's almost the whole, the whole work is in the negative space. And you take the, your your reoccurring symbol of the world map and that becomes the cutout right that becomes the negative and you you transpose the two so i'll i'll, I'll stop talking and introducing yeah. these and i'll let you just kind of and let me know which one you want me to have up on the screen for everybody uh, i mean just to start there's so much we can start with this one okay uh, just so that i can get a chance to respond to <laughs> to what you, you had to say the last time about this piece. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. So that negative space idea that you pointed, it's, I, right now I am just playing so much. Um, mm -hmm. I don't have any intention about, for sure I want to fill the page, right? Or fill the piece. Um, but I don't know if, I actually, what I enjoy is the, the play between the, and if, let's call the negative space is the, the land, I mean, the water, water and land. The, yeah, the oceans, yeah, yeah, the seas. And a lot of the time that I've, in past pieces, I just leave it blank and it's all about the land. But, right. and um, so I like the interaction between the two. It's especially when I'm kind of bringing in um, some of the lines and this one kind of feels a little bit more like the, the white land is sitting on top of it. If you could go to that red and black one, Did it get there for you? Okay, so okay. this one, um, although it, to me it feels like the land is uh, is coming towards you, the black is, but actually I painted the I painted the white on top. Oh, it, I can see that. That's yeah, pretty so evident the, right here, land, like in the right. in the lower part of Africa, down around the, yeah. the horn here. But it's that's, not that's, obvious, and um, and so I like kind of when you're not quite sure. So that's what I'm really trying to kind of do to play with more. Mm -hmm. but let me take a step back with these because, so I've been, um, I actually took a class at Art Students League in Denver mm -hmm. with Jeff Wenzel um, is the instructor. And he's been an abstract expressionist painting for, I, I don't know, probably 30 years, I assume. Um, and he has a really interesting technique of uh, actually using drawings and creating materials through different patterns and drawings and then ripping it up and collaging it and painting over it. Um, I actually ended up taking his class. It was a six week class, but I kept on signing up. So I had been doing it for most of the last year. So I have about 20 or 25 of these. They're all four feet by two feet. Um, out of the 25 that I've created, none are finished except, and they're finished when I turn them into a world map and when I kind of played. Uh, I, having him as an instructor and a, a kind of purist abstract expressionist, I thought he would hate the fact that I turned them into world maps because yeah. um, the idea behind abstract expression is just really to just let go um, and let emotion kind of drive the way. Yeah, the automatic and, process. 
Yeah, and and before I took this class, I will be the you know this is no secret, but I was and I went to art school, but I never took a painting class, and I said I was scared of paint. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I used collage and I drew with pen and ink and um, used flowers and that kind of thing. So it not only was it pushing me out of my comfort zone as far as using paint, um, but just abstract and really letting go because a lot of what I did was uh, very controlled and that kind of came from my background in, in graphic design and following the rules and everything being tidy and neat and um, well designed to just letting go of all those rules and essentially not thinking, not just letting the thoughts go. I mean, if, if of all the hundreds of maps that I've made, these are the ones that get me into that flow state because uh, you really have to for it to work and to trust that something's going to come out of it. It's like this, uh, it's, it's an adventure. It's really fun and scary too because you don't know when it's done. It's, you know, you just kind of have to feel, um, you just have to feel your way around it. But back to the process. So every other week we would actually draw from the, from the model. Uh, mm -hmm. men and women. The, the figure actually here in the left hand corner is a man. So I like that it's not all women. Um, over to the left, by uh, it, his face is in Mexico. <laughs> and he's kind of like sitting, his legs are tucked underneath him. Do, can you see it? Yeah, am I zoom, aren't I zoomed in on it here? Like his, oh, his yeah, the, oh, okay. whole, yeah. yeah, his face takes up like the better portion of the Western United yeah, States. Exactly. And, his legs yeah. are tucked under his feet. Right, yeah, I saw, oh, I see him. Yeah, so anyway, I, I really like that they're um, all different. And actually, it's, he was wearing headphones just like you have. Oh, on. I see that. <laughs> so, Here they are. So, um, and actually, just a little bit of personal background, too. And when I was an art student, um, my, I was also a live model for art classes 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. So, and so I know I've been on to, to be on both sides. I love the idea of. Um, a model in the room and artists and the, the silence, but the connection that you inevitably have, even though there's barely any eye contact usually, and everybody's very professional about it. So yeah. <laughs> uh, it's just how it is, you know, sometimes you get a super friendly one, but generally, you know, we're just all being professional. And um, yeah, so becomes... to be back drawing, drawing humans and, um, and then actually, I mean, he was so he's such a great instructor because I was used to doing good drawings and drawing it's drawing what I see and you know I think it was my second class and he said Charlotte for the rest of the class you know three hours I want you to draw with your left hand just like oh. let loose let go it's not an old old school trick perfect yeah so um so it's been a really fun learning experience totally taking me out, out of what I've done before Mm -hmm. um, and, and actually there's this comfort in knowing that they are all going to turn into world maps. That's where I get to take control again. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I, that's I how, that okay. Of, like, because no matter how far you stray, you can always bring it back to your kind of comfort zone in the end. Yes. That's, that that's is, very interesting. It's really, I, I don't think I could have done it. I mean, I'm not ready yet. I'm not there as an artist to just go full on abstract. Yeah. That, that's too scary. <laughs> but, <laughs> okay. So that's but, how you're kind of keeping the training wheels on for lack yeah, of a better metaphor. Now, so we'll yeah. see. Um, and I've told, you know, someday I won't make world maps, but I'm not, I'm not sick of it yet. I, right. I, I love having just a little, it's like not quite a, a blank canvas, um, which can be overwhelming and scary. Um, so I have that, that comfort of knowing that it, and and I this is a good point to also say having gone to art school and decided when I left there I am not going to be an artist like this is you know the the elitism and the intellectuals like can't we just make things that are pretty <laughs> <laughs> the and, conceptual uh, art yeah yeah and I mean you know I'd gone through years of it and if I had a 
I had an app, I did an independent study with an African American um, instructor who was like, okay, we're going to do underground railroad. And I was like, okay, great. And then if I had, you know, a woman instructor, it had to have been feminist. And I was like, can't, like, can it, like, why, right? But now I am coming full circle um, when it comes to like the activist piece of it. But so that it's, you know, it's all a journey. But, um, but the world map, I would like art and my art to be accessible and approachable. And by making it a world map, and I, I mean, I have a huge connection to the world map because I traveled in my 20s all over the world. So it's my way of staying connected. And, um, but I like the idea that I can do whatever I want with my art. And as long as it's a world map that's somewhat recognizable, it draws people in. And it doesn't have to be someone who knows a lot about art or um, it, it's just, it, it's easy to connect because there's something familiar there. And that's important to me because I want my message to get through to as many people as I can, because um, I think it's an important one. Yeah, you give, so. give everybody a foothold to kind of get, find their way in. Yep. A, and then from there on, they can engage, kind of they can decide their own level of commitment. Yep. Yeah, well, hey, I, I think that's a pretty great place to wrap this up. Um, that that's that's like a pretty great holistic idea for for what you do as an artist and i've really really enjoyed looking at your pieces a little bit more in depth and i'm pretty happy to have these super high resolution resolution images to see your work like so up close this this was a really great opportunity and i think a, a great way of kind of doing the interview to to get to look at these things up close and give people the opportunity to look and learn about them a little bit more up close so thank you so much for your time thank you so much for doing this